If you were dining tonight, might have needed a coat, oh, yeah. a space heater, a little more, maybe a hat too. How about that, Lonnie? It's getting chilly for it, real. And it's going to get chillier still. I mean, you take a look outside right now. And, yeah, okay, there's clouds overhead. Those came in yeah, sometime around, say, 1, 2 o'clock this afternoon. But now we're looking at 48 degrees. That will continue to drop down to about 40 degrees on the thermometer. Gonna be a cold morning out there. Currently we have a few raindrops that are falling right around Hopewell. Let's zoom in tight there. We had a little batch of moderately heavy rain that's sort of faded right now, but there are some light showers out there, a little bit around Old Bridge right now, a little bit around Middletown, and they're pushing up to the north, sort of northeast. I do want to point this out. All right, those are not raindrops. Some upper level snowflakes, a couple of sleep pellets as well. There's the northern fringe of Sullivan County. That's Rockland right there, Liberty, Denning. So, this is novelty snowflake activity, not nuisance. It's it, look, nobody's shoveling, nobody's plowing. There's just a couple of snowflakes flying around, kind of melting at the surface. So what happens to the rest of the areas we go through the overnight hours? Well, we see a few showers out there right now, a few more at 2.30 because they're being fed up from the south. This is 2.30 in the morning. Now we get to 8 o'clock in the morning. We do have some rain. Again, it's not terribly heavy. Most of that stays offshore. But you're seeing a few little those novelty snowflakes, even in places like northern Fairfield County, maybe Putnam and Dutchess County. Just interesting to note that it would be the first ones we may see, but they sort of melt onto the surface once they get down to the surface. But here we are, you know, 4.30 in the afternoon, temperatures are around 40, and you're seeing an upper-level sleet pellet, meaning up there it's falling as sleet. It gets down to the ground and, and melting even before it hits the surface. You, you can't have a snowflake if it's 46 degrees outside in Bridgeport, Connecticut, and then it really gets cold enough for snow. Thursday, 7.30, look at that. We're 32 degrees in the city, 20s for lots of folks out there, but we don't have any moisture. So it's just about the freeze watch that's in effect. This is for Wednesday night into Thursday. That could become a warning if it looks like a definite that's going to happen, but as of right now, we keep a watch on it. Either which way, it's going to feel like you're to the freezing mark or colder on Thursday morning, feeling like 30 degrees with the wind chill, and then the temperatures go up from there back to about normal for your weekend. So for Saturday and Sunday, forecasting temperatures right around 60 degrees, and overall, I don't see rain in that forecast until Tuesday, and even that right now is subject to me making a change on it. But I think it looks like a dry weekend for both Saturday and Sunday as of right now. Very okay. good. Thank you, Lonnie. Okay, guys. Here for that.